Hello everyone, Lori Carter coming to you from my office in Casa Vegas Spiritualist Camp. Hope everything is going fabulously for you so far this week. We are continuing on with the Crystals, Minerals, and Gemstones segment. And today, and I kind of like it, and it's why I chose it, I actually took my two and a half year old grandson over to Palm Coast yesterday for a powwow. Don't you love that? We had such a blast. And so here's the stone or the crystal that I'm looking at today. It's the Apache Tear. The Apache Tear. And isn't it a beautiful stone? I remember one time I was at a Renaissance Fair over in Lake County, of course, doing readings. And somebody wanted to trade up for this and I would not give it up. And you know what the really cool thing is? The person I had helped identify these stones actually found a face in this stone. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's pretty cool. And so the Apache Tear, and now let's not forget, I'm learning along with you guys, all right? The Apache Tear is a healing stone known to help navigate grief and loss. Apache Tears are said to have the ability to lend support during times of sorrow. Apache Tears can also help those struggling with depression. Apache Tears are said to absorb negative energy. And I realize I have a lot of those stones around me anyway. Apache Tears heal old wounds and remove self-limitations. Apache Tears are said to help increase analytical abilities, precision, and assists in developing a forgiving attitude. Apache Tears can also facilitate spontaneity. And I got that information from Beja Vu Designs on the internet. And yep, I love this one. I hope you guys like it too. And so here we go. We're still doing the card draws. We, we won't be missing those. We are doing my favorite card draw today, Path of the Soul Destiny cards. Pick one, two, or three. Alrighty, here we go. Now to try to remember which, here we go. Number one was number 35, the Royal Order. We play important roles in each other's lives. We aid each other on the journey to oneness and ascension. Before we can play an integral role in helping others, we have to first take care of ourselves. The royal order is about keeping within the divine order of life. Be sure to care for this physical vessel that is you. It needs to run and function properly. You have an important part to play in the lives of others. So make sure you take care of yourself first. And number two, if you chose number two, ha, it's the number two. Nice. Encoded. Where others see nothing, you see the deeper meaning or message hidden within. Your guides are working to communicate with you as your intuition and inner knowing expands. Be mindful of all that you are experiencing in each moment. Be aware of animal messengers, cloud formations, colors, conversations of others, and anything else that catches your attention. You are taking the next step up in awareness and connection to the unseen worlds. And if you chose number three, number 23, magical. Embrace the magic within all of your day-to-day -day experiences. Think back to the days of childhood when anything could happen. Begin to expect the unexpected. Many small yet wonderful surprises are coming your way. This is the calling of the universe to return to childlike wonder and belief that anything can happen. Look for the magical in the mundane and watch as life transforms from the ordinary into a mystical adventure of the unexpected. Hope you guys enjoyed it and have a great week.